Time to milk some cows. Gotta have my coffee. Gonna go get pen one, bring them into the holding area, and then we can start milking. This cow right here, number 482, is always the first in and the first out. All right, ladies, time to milk. Now the lights in this barn are on a timer. They automatically turn on at 4 a.m. So they've been on for 15 minutes here. Cows are just starting to wake up now. I don't know if they're actually sleeping, but they were in a restful state anyway. So I'm going around cleaning the beds off here. And as I'm doing that, the cows make their way out. And we wanna make sure the beds are clean, get the manure off and also any moisture. So like right here, you got some milk that leaked. And that's a great place for bacteria to grow. So we wanna pull that off, pull a little bit of dry bedding back over it. Pen one is out, let's go milk them. Pull through. Look who the first cow is. 482. This pre-dip that we use is a hydrogen peroxide foam. And what this does is it kills bacteria. We want to leave it on for about 30 seconds. And it does a really good job. So this doesn't burn the cows or anything. It doesn't hurt put on your skin. Got pen two out, now I'm gonna let pen one back into there. Pen, look who's first. Getting towards the end of milking now, I just chased the last of pen three out here. Gonna open up this gate so pen four can get into their pen. And then now that we're finished chasing cows across the middle of the barn, I'm gonna take the scraper and clean up here. My dad will be in here soon to run feed out to the cows. Looks like they're hungry. Milking is done. I'm gonna mix feed here for the heifers and then we'll go have some breakfast. Took a bit of a break. Now, first thing this morning, we wanna move some heifers from the other farm. Gonna hook the truck up to the trailer here. Get going with that. Whoop, that's good. We wanna bring five pregnant heifers up. So I gotta go in the office here and look at the computer, see the next five that are due. So here on the computer, I have a list of all the heifers at that rented farm in order by their due date. So I'm gonna just write down the top five numbers here and we'll get them and bring them up. Dad is headed down with the truck and trailer. I'm gonna grab the skid loader here because we're gonna need it down there. So the grain elevator across the street, they get soybean shipped in and they have a separator for the, the holes that are in the grain that comes in. And they dump their trailer here sometimes for us. We push it in for bedding. So it makes okay bedding. So we'll, it's free, it works. I'm just gonna push this in before we load heifers here.
Now dad's back in the trailer up here. Okay, so the, all the heifers down here are split into two groups. The one side is the breeding age heifers. And then once they're confirmed pregnant, we put them into this pen. And they hang out, they hang out in here until they're around 20 months old, depends. Then we want to get them up to the dry cow barn. And they hang out there until they're about to have their calf. We got the group sorted, now we got to get them on the trailer. Which can be difficult. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the skid loader. Dad's gonna take the heifers. Ethan is here, he's gonna scrape the heifer dry cow barns before he milks this afternoon. And we are gonna go bed the calves, see what else happens after that. Today's Friday, so that means we're gonna be bedding the stalls this afternoon. We use wood shavings and then we like to mix hydrated lime with it, which we usually have piled in bags right here. And realize that's empty, so I'm gonna get the skid loader, bring them a bunch of bags over and stack them there. Dad dumped a bag right here. We gotta scoop some up, we'll stir it up a little bit before we scoop it in. And then a little bit will be on every bed along with the shavings. And that's the best thing we found to help prevent uh, mastitis. Mastitis is an infection cows can get, kills bacteria, does a good job with that. We don't like working with it, but it does the job better than anything else we've found. So if you know of a product that works better than this, let me know. This is what we have to do because we don't want sick cows. Getting some rain I wasn't expecting today. We want to chase a cow up here. That's due in a couple weeks from the dry cow barn. 484 right here. We're still leaving a mountain pasture. There's nothing to eat out here, but they like just coming out and hanging out outside. All right. I just went and had some lunch. You can see our manure spreader sitting in the shop right now or at least the front end of it's in the shop. We had a little breakdown this week. I wanted to get done hauling liquid manure this week and that set us back a couple days. I just got a call from the shop that was repairing the part and I'm gonna go pick that up as soon as I'm done bedding. I gotta bed up the first side of cows and then after that we'll hop in the truck and go get that part. What's up guys? <laughs> All right, so we got Casey and Sasha. Found a nice spot here in the hay. This isn't too bad, is it?
got all the betting in here. Now I'm gonna go let pen one back into their group and close up. How much do you wanna bet? 482 is the first cow coming back again. Pen one's open. All right, let's let her out. Look at this. Always first. Leadership is a good quality. I appreciate seeing that in an animal. Leaders and followers in life. So now these beds will just get cleaned off every milking throughout the weekend and then Monday morning we'll come back and bed them up again. I blow most of it up towards the front of the bed and there's just a real thin dust at the back. And then we'll have some to pull back throughout the weekend. All right, I'm gonna go clean my shoes and then we'll hop in the truck, go get this part. pick up this part it's about a 20 minute drive Got the hardest part done. This thing is in place now. There's a pin over there and it just hinges on that. So the PTO shaft runs from the tractor back to right here. And then it spins this fan here to blow the manure up out this pipe. And what happened is this bearing went out. There's two bearings, one on each end of this and then there's an oil reservoir. I don't exactly know how it works, but that had actually happened three and a half years ago. It busted and we did the same thing to fix it. The guy said if it gives us issues again, we're probably gonna have to replace this whole housing and get a new bearing set up here. It's not the best the way we're set up right now, but hopefully this will last a while and we don't have to worry about it for a few more years. And then we can decide what we wanna do at that point, but. Got the PTO back on. Now I gotta bolt this arm up here that holds the hydraulic hoses. This thing's ready to go. I'm not gonna haul right now because I have some other things to do, but I'm gonna go park it up there at the manure pump. And then when we can, we can get started with it. Couple things left to do today. There should be a load of hay coming very soon, and I'm gonna unload it into the commodity barn there. Put it in the fifth bay. Oh, there he is right there. So we'll do this, and then we'll mix feed for the cows.
hay is unloaded. We're gonna have to chop this here before we can feed it. We got a little bit of chopped hay left here. A little bit goes into the main cow batch and then more goes into the dry cow feed ration. So we'll probably be chopping that next week. All right, let's make some feed. 